Hey guys, Dirt and Rust. I went to flea market today and I went to a garage sale. And here's some of the stuff I got. Um, I didn't know what this was when I picked it up. I got this for uh, three bucks and it is a, a crimper for steel strapping uh, by Acme Steel Company. Um, the guy told me it was for fencing, but I brought it home and found out it's actually a crimper for steel strapping. Okay. Got this uh, wrench. This goes to, uh, I don't know if you could see the logo there, Ford, um, for a Model T Ford combo wrench. Okay, got this clamp number 540, four inch standard from Cincinnati Tool Company. Pretty good working order. <clears throat> okay, here's the mystery tool, one of them. What do you think, guys? See if I can get focused in on this. It looks like something would sit right in here. And then this would come and crimp it. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. It's a really cool looking tool. Uh, please take a guess, guys, if you want to. And if you guys know what this is, let me know. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to find out what it is. Um, this one is a mystery tool, and I have one more. I don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like that. I'll show you what it kind of its action is here. Let's see. So it punches through, and it, it feels really strong, like it it could actually punch through sheet metal or something. So let me know guys, you know one other clue in here, I don't know if it is a clue, but there was some hair inside here, so I don't know if it has something to do with animals or that was just a coincidence. So let me know on that one too. <clears throat> okay, this one was a, you know another tool I haven't never seen before is by Everhard uh, Products. Canton, Ohio, and I found out it's for tires. Um, it's for uh, repairing tires some, somehow. They use this tool. I'm not really sure exactly how they use it, but that's what I was able to find out. I don't think the lighting is very good in here. I'm going to be putting some uh, close-up pictures here as I speak so you guys can see some of this stuff close up. That was a cool one. Okay, got some uh, good old pruning shears here. Uh, it says down here, hot drop forward, hot drop forged, made in Italy. Missing the little clasp down here. Somebody put an extra spring on it. But these will work really good once they get cleaned up and sharpened. But most likely I'll sell them. Alright. Got these this little 
set of crescent wrenches. And this is a uh, little Mercedes uh, Benz. Um, it would be what, like with the tool set that comes with the car. I think this little wrench would probably get around 10 bucks by itself. So I got these, and where is that? And this all for four bucks. And uh, let's see. Oh, let me backpedal here. This was two bucks. This was a buck. And the two mystery tools were two bucks each. Okay. So this one is a. Uh, Sorry, this is a, a Pex toe. Um, these are linesman's pliers. All right, and then I got these. These are Utica uh, flat nose pliers. Uh, this one was made between nineteen. 1940 and 1960 I think and 1944 and 1960 okay picked up this for a couple of bucks five minute vulcanizer they use this for patching tires on cars I actually refurbished one quite a while back, uh, probably about five years ago I refurbished one. It was a lot worse than this one, it had a lot of rust on it. Okay, at the uh, garage sale I picked up this lighter here, um, on the underneath it says Wellington. 113 uh, John Bean Company. And it looks like this was a, a salesman's lighter for the John Bean Company. Um, these lighters can uh, bring a few bucks. There was one I saw on eBay that sold for over $300. It was a John Deere, very similar to this, but it had the John Deere logo on it so it's all about the subject matter when it comes to these whether they're gonna sell good and John Deere is very collectible um, I didn't get this one this one I just had I just wanted to show this one real quick uh, just another lighter that I had hanging around and also I had this one too it's in like perfect condition this one I could probably get 25 bucks for or something like that um, at the garage sale I also with that lighter uh, the lighter and these two watches were five bucks um, the watches let me see I wrote down the name uh, yeah, this is a LaForge. It's a, a made in Sweden, 17 joule watch. It doesn't work, but it's kind of like uh, you can use the parts on the inside to make steam steampunk stuff if it's not valuable. And this one is Jules Turgensen, 17 joule, established in 1740. And I'll take this off and show you. Hopefully that's focusing. Underneath, I'll show a close up picture if you guys can't see that. But there's little jewels inside the watch. And some people like to use these when they make uh, steampunk jewelry and stuff. For example, you know, I made this little, this one doesn't have jewels in it, but I, but I just, um, 
went ahead and used that in my little steampunk project. Just another example of the showing the jewels in there, they're little purple jewels. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.